Today is the last day for underclassmen to declare for the NFL draft. A lot of rumors have been swirling around about quarterback C.J. Stroud. I've been asked numerous questions about whether or not he will declare and how his decision affects the NFL draft. I've told everyone that asked me that I expect Stroud to declare before the deadline. In fact, my boy Buck just asked me this morning and I responded that he will be declaring soon. Less than 20 minutes later, C.J. Stroud has officially declared for the NFL Draft. I wasn't making a big deal of him waiting because this just happens every year. C.J. Stroud was not the only player who hasn't declared yet. We are still waiting on word from TCU wideout Quentin Johnson and Georgia tight end Darnell Washington. But the big news this morning is C.J. Stroud has officially declared for the NFL Draft. So this brings me to the next point. How does it affect the Bears' number one overall pick? Anyone suggesting this hurts or helps the Bears' chances of trading the number one pick is speaking purely on speculation at this point. Each team has its own draft board. Most scouts have Bryce Young as the top QB in the class, but there are rumors that some teams prefer C.J. Stroud or even Will Levis. Theoretically, it all comes down to a team falling in love with one of these three QB prospects and wanting to take him number one overall. With quarterbacks, I think a lot of time it's not about we will take the number two or three guy left. It's usually more about teams believing that guy will be a fit. Usually teams fall in love with one prospect. I think it's doubtful that one of these teams will like all three of the quarterbacks. Anything is possible, but with C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, and Will Levis, it's hard to get a gauge on how teams will feel about these three guys, and this news of C.J. Stroud declaring doesn't change much in my opinion. There are plenty of rumors floating around about Stroud's decision and how it would really affect the trade value of the number one pick, but to me it was all speculation. The Texans theoretically could be less motivated to trade up, if they like two quarterbacks, they can just take the one that's still on the board at number two. But when it comes to a franchise QB, who wants to take the leftover guy when you can get the one you really want? Drafting a quarterback is a significant move for any franchise. The quarterback is the face of the franchise, and teams are required to do significant homework before selecting one. C.J. Stroud's decision puts him in a competition with Bryce Young, for that top spot in the NFL draft. These two guys have been seen as top of the draft options for a while now, and this will be debated all the way until April. The dark horse candidate here is Will Levis from Kentucky, who has all the size and intangibles, but hasn't produced like the other two top prospects. In my opinion, having C.J. Stroud in this draft only increases the odds that a team will trade up for the number one pick. If that team didn't like Bryce Young or Will Levis, maybe they wouldn't have traded up before, but C.J. Stroud could be the guy that one of these teams like. I will not be studying this year's QB class. I will be focusing my efforts on positions that the Bears will be drafting, so I haven't really studied Young, Stroud, or Levis in depth. However, based on scouting reports and what I have seen on all three guys, it's just a matter of preference. C.J. Stroud is now in the NFL draft, still waiting on word from Quentin Johnson and Darnell Washington, but just like C.J., I expect them to declare soon. Stay tuned, guys. I have so much more coming. Please hit that like button for me, and until next time, bear down!